photos. I don't care how young, doesn't matter. You get in a car with a guy you think you love, a girl you think you love, a friend you think you love, you better know who you're getting in that car with. Because if that person that you love, and I shouldn't do it that way because the truth is, you can truly love that person. Yeah. But if you don't know who you're getting in a car with, that's on you. Yeah. Now you should never have to think that you get in a car and there's something illegal going on. You shouldn't have to think that way. You might go on that way. Yeah. I'm just saying this is that the truths are sometimes you have to know. Because that can put you in a predicament that you're gonna go, but I didn't know. Yeah, you didn't, but you're still behind the bars. For why? So you should know. I teach that to my kids. You should know who you're in the car who your friends are, who the people you stay with, because that can change you up in life. The, the only thing is, is measuring your success. What is success to you? Yeah. Is success being up here? I don't think that's success. <laughs> it, it just, it feels like I'm in a nice place. Like Amen. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with liking and loving nice things. Just don't, I'm not trying to confuse that. Yeah. I'm just saying this is that my great mentor, Tiki Fox, mm -hmm. He says, in life, to be fair, I have failed as much as I've succeeded. When I love my life, and I love my wife, and I wish you my kind of success. So he didn't say, I ride in the Benz, I ride in the tent, but he didn't say that. Yeah. He says, he loves his life, his wife, his life. How many people can truly say they love their life? Even if that's correct. So they're like not like sober. Most of the time. That's right. Like or, or even the soberness is kind of the anxieties. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or like she, you can't or, feel that whatever as much as you buy, as much as you whatever that's right. it is. That's right. That's why when they say materialistic things, it's not a thing. It's nothing wrong with loving it. I mean, you can enjoy it. The thing is, it doesn't feel any different. Like I was telling that. Like going to these places, it, it's wild. Like, yeah, like, wow, I'm allowed to walk in this building without getting like, hey, what are you doing? You know? Okay. And that's nice, but like, I myself do not feel any different. Like, it, this feels like I'm at a hotel. It okay. just feels like, like, it, it, you're at a front place, you're at a yeah, just, like, it's, just, it's just a pretty view, which it is. But I would feel the same if we were having this conversation or chilling and different. Did we not in your studio? In your studio? Oh, yeah, in our room. So like almost the same thing. there's no difference. The yeah. conversation is still the same. It's as real as it could. Yeah. Because you went through so much the double ups and downs. Like, I know, like, yeah. Like, yeah, like, like there's that. Like, I have a goal and stuff like that. But, like, for me, for example, there is so many. There is a period, like, a good chunk of a time where it was very much, like, Anything that I looked at, whether it was like it was a pencil on, like something there, I just walk by and, and you should stab yourself with it. Or, oh, it's a nice, just got yourself in. Or the, or the one when you're driving and it's just like, I could just. That's a good thing. <laughs> you know, a little jokey joke, but yeah. it's not a joke. No, no, yeah. no not a joke. But, but a real with, feel. But with those. For us, or at least for me, it was always the one thing for me was just kind of, again, how we talked earlier, like with the whole, well, mom, yeah, that's going to be devastating. Grace. So and your mom what? Is your mom is your angel. Yeah. There's no doubt. You obviously had so many ups and downs. What was it for you that kind of... What was your coping mechanism? That would be a very, it's a broad question, so it's a hard yeah. answer on one specific because... There's so many. Mm -hmm. When you go through so many ups and downs starting from childhood. So I guess like as a grown man okay. in a society which you know, which is now growing more having more normalized, you know, men are now able to cry. You know, like that, but growing up at the time. You know, mm -hmm. and growing up is very much like men are men. Um, you know, going to therapy is kind of just like, oh, you want therapy kind of thing. Like it's just it wasn't socially very taboo and it kind of still is now to certain people and certain you know certain things because it makes them feel weak because strong yes. vulnerability is a strength but it's seen as a weakness because you feel weak so how as a man yeah. in this
this day and age when you're feeling because you're so high energy. Yeah. <laughs> so like, how do you, but there's times, girl. Where, where when, it, when it's low, I'm lower than low. So when you're at that point, what do you grab onto, or what do you focus you see, on? Already, I'm gonna start tearing up because the now part comes with like my wife. Mm -hmm. So she'll never know how much she really means to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's because sometimes I may not show it. Or should I say this? I say stupid stuff sometimes. Mm -hmm. I, I act foolishly. But if she wasn't with me or if she wasn't here, mm -hmm. I don't know where I'd be. Mm -hmm. So the cocky Chris, mm -hmm. the, the tough-ass Chris, when he's feeling a certain way, mm -hmm. will think nothing could stop him, and, and I got this all, I could do this, mm -hmm. but it's not true. Mm -hmm. See, so I'll say words that I really don't mean and don't have an answer why. Mm -hmm. I don't really know why. Mm -hmm. So I shout out a word, I don't mean what I'm saying, mm -hmm. but I said it. Mm -hmm. So it's like there's Chris, there's the other guy mm -hmm. and I don't like the other guy mm -hmm. but I know the other guy is still there mm -hmm. yeah. okay so I admit that I don't like the other guy because the other guy in the sense of what and the he, he he could just say act a certain way feel a certain way he's masking he's faking right and so you're saying this in account of like if you and your wife begin to argue Get below the belt, yeah. say things, um, say things that I don't mean. Mm -hmm. That's the part about myself that I've always hated. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why or where it comes from. I do know that it comes from a childhood, mm -hmm. but I don't want to be that person that blames it on my mother and my father. Mm -hmm. Because now mm -hmm. I'm 50 years old, so I don't want to, I don't want to blame about that one. Yeah. I'm tired of Believe me, it's somebody else's fault in that respect. Although, but in the back of my mind, when I'm doing things, when I've acted out, when I've said things, there's a reason where it comes from. But I'm tired of saying, I was my mother, I was my father. He left and when my mother left. It's time to now try to find that new spot. And my wife, my daughters, as soon as I look at them, I smile. So I know there's a happy